Well, good morning guys and welcome to another Monroe adventure today. So it's a bit chilly this morning with it sitting at around minus six, but I'm currently in Glen Lednock and I'm going to be doing a single Monroe today. One of the easier Monroes in this area. So this is a nice straightforward route today and it's Ben Honsey, one of the most popular Monroes in Scotland so I'm looking forward to this. The weather looks quite promising, a bit of blue sky behind me so yeah as I say a straightforward ascent to the top today and I think I'm going to get clear views up there too. This is actually one of the last Monroes I've got in this area, I'll quickly show you that on the map. And it's getting to that point in my Monroe journey where areas are getting complete now, which is a strange feeling actually. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this today. Going has been really easy so far on this Land Rover track. You can maybe just see the way that I've come up here. And the sun is just starting to shine. I think that's the first time I've seen that in a good few weeks here in Scotland. So yeah, this Monroe is sometimes described as dull or boring, but I don't think there is any such thing as a dull or boring Monroe in Scotland. So yeah, I'm making good progress. One thing I'm surprised at is a lack of snow in this area but one thing there is is a lot of ice which I think might get worse as I get a bit higher. Well this has been really straightforward so far on this path I think you can see behind me the path it takes me pretty much up to the plateau towards the top. I think this might just be one of the quickest Monroes that I've done in a long time. So we'll make for a really short video. So yeah, I'll catch you once I'm up on the plateau. So things continued on this Land Rover track for around about another kilometre, where it finally branched off towards the top of Ben Honsey. this line of fence posts here. You can actually see the top right there. It's not too far at all. It's absolutely freezing up here though. So I'm going to make quick progress. Oh that wind has picked up. But that's me at the top of Ben Honsey. Well there we go. I'm going to get a tiny bit of shelter but that's officially the top of Ben Honsey. Monroe 232, that leaves 50 Monroes left to bag. Now it's really windy up here and the temperature showing with a wind chill it's about minus 16, minus 17 degrees and it certainly feels like that. Some low lying cloud too. So there is actually some fantastic views up here down Loch Turret you can see behind me there. You can actually do this Monroe from that direction up Glen Turret but it's a bit of a longer approach 
Now you can see there's a tiny bit of snow on the ground here, but nothing like any of the Monroes around it. That's why I was surprised. I was ready for this to be covered in snow today, hence the ice axe, but yeah, can't complain. So Ben Honsey means Hill of the Moss, and it's about 931 metres high. Now, that's probably the easiest Monroe that I had left, so I think it's only going to get harder from here. So I'm making the most of that. About an hour and 45 to get here, so the perfect beginner's Monroe, that's for sure, as there's no difficulties at all on a good day like today up here, even though it's absolutely Baltic at the summit, so I don't think I'm going to linger here for too long. So it's a bit of a shame, really, that the cloud has come in just as I reach the top. So usually in this direction you'd see into Glen Lyon and over there's Cray and Larry. But behind the cairn is actually pretty flat. That's down into Creef and into that direction. The conditions at the top of Ben Honsey actually got worse, which was slightly disappointing as there were some blue skies at the bottom, but there were still some views to be had down Loch Tarret. Okay, so that was a bit unlucky really. As you can see, it's totally clogged in. Nothing to see around me now. So that's pretty rare for me on the Monroes. If you've been watching the previous videos, I'm usually pretty lucky with the weather. So I think I'm overdue to get some clag. So it's absolutely Baltic up here. So I think I'm going to start heading back down. Just off the summit of Ben Honsey, there's a series of cairns which point in the direction of the path, which is handy when the visibility was like this. That's me just about down. As you can see, it still looks clagged at the top. So that was a nice easy day that. I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, it's uh, one of the easier Monroes, shall we say, but it's passed pretty much all the way to the top. And this good Landover track about three quarters of the way. I mean, you could probably take a bike up that if you're really keen, but I better give you my review before I go. I think I'll give this a solid six out of 10. As I say, easy. The views at the top, can't really comment too much as I didn't see much at the top, but from what I could see, it looked not too bad. I'll never use the word boring from Monroe ever again. I might have used it once or twice when I first started out, but there's no such thing as a boring Monroe in Scotland. So that's pretty much it for today's adventure. I hope you've enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments if you've done Ben Honsey and what you thought of it too. So thanks for watching today, and I hope you join me for some more Monroes in the next one. <laughs>